Welcome. Today we're going to talk about my four, uh, kind of five, favorite Kanban tools. And you'll find out why I say five, kind of five at the end. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Uh, members get all my courses, even the ones in progress uh, up front. And, or take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Now, the first Kanban tool I'm going to mention is Obsidian Kanban, because it's the one I use every day for sure. It takes all of my notes um, for my ideas, for YouTube videos, for content, for my paid members newsletter. And I just work them through, you know, three or four different lanes where I can drag and drop uh, mobile or on my desktop, and I can just keep working on my ideas. The reason I really like this for my writing is that it connects directly to the cards I have. It connects directly to the cards into the writing. When I've used other services like Trello, which we'll talk about in a minute, I actually have to have a link to the writing file and then I can, you know, go find it. Whereas this, I actually go right to the writing file. I don't have to open up an extra application and just get to sit in my writing client of choice, Obsidian, and work on my content without any mode switch in the middle. Now, there are one or two issues with it on mobile, um, with my iPad OS, but None of them are insurmountable. Some of them mean I have to reach up and touch something instead of clicking it. Um, and that's really it. And then I just did a video last week about how I switched from append to prepend. And that makes my Obsidian Mobile uh, workflow so much better. The second tool I really like is Trello. I've used this off and on for years. I used it for managed client projects for a long time or to manage client communication, client follow-up, even social media posts with some automation that I had set up via... Oh, I can't remember if it was IFTTT or uh, one of the other ones, which I forget right now. So Trello is free for the most part. Um, it's certainly free for most projects. You can get collaborators in there. You can get multiple boards in there. The biggest drawback I see with um, Trello for Kanban is it never really has a good way for you to see all the cards across all your projects so you can see everything you have to do in one spot. That's actually one of the kind of crucial things for Kanban system in general. There's a book, great book called Personal Kanban that talks about this where it you should be able to see all of your active stuff in one spot. You should be able to visualize every step of it as you move your cards across your different lanes. Trello doesn't really let you do that. Next up, ClickUp. ClickUp is a good tool because it does allow you to see all of your stuff across each lane all the time. So you can see everything. Has a great web client, has a pretty okay uh, iPad OS mobile client. Probably my biggest fault with it is that the mobile client forces you to click into a card and then you can change the status. You can't drag and drop the cards around. So if you want to move things between lanes, you actually have to take an extra click to go into the card or extra touch to go into the card, change the status, and then you can get back out of it. So it's two or three extra steps by the time you count all the clicks, as opposed to just being able to drag and drop it to a new location. I'd love to see that happen. Again, the best part is that you can see everything and you can collaborate. It has a fairly generous free plan as well. Fourth, Todoist. So Todoist is a great personal task manager, but a while ago they added a ability to view things in boards. I have liked this for some projects, but again, like many of the other tools I've mentioned, the biggest issue is that it doesn't let you visualize all your cards across all your boards all at once. You can see everything that's assigned to you, but you can't see it in a board format. So with the filters and they're searching, you can see everything that's assigned to you. So that's one thing I'd really like to see. One of the other things I really like about Todoist is that it does have great integrations with stuff like Obsidian, which I've done a video on before. I've done a couple of videos on it. So if you search the YouTube channel, you'll see more uh, than the one I can link to in the comments above. Um, it has lots of good integration. You can link notes back and forth. It will take you directly to Obsidian and directly back to the other, uh, back to Todoist to see the tasks. I really like that part. But again, why can't we see everything assigned to me in a board form across every single project? My final honorable mention is GitHub. And I say it's an honorable mention because I know a lot of people are not going to use this. GitHub is really geared towards programmers, and that is mostly what I do. So it is really good for me to manage all my issues for a project and be able to see like where everything is, if it's blocked, where that status is. Again, like I mentioned on a few of them, it doesn't really let you see everything assigned to you across all projects. Now, in this case, I can kind of see that. I don't necessarily want the issues assigned to me in a personal project going with the issues assigned to me in a client project. But I'm part of one or two organizations. Proud City is the one you're seeing right now. We have to put every issue for every uh, different project we have going, for all the different plugins we have in one spot, in one kind of repository, and then link out to other spot repositories if we need more information. Because it doesn't let me see at an organization level everything that's assigned to me. I'd love that at an organization level where I could see all of the repositories our organization has and all of the issues, all of the cards that are part of the issues in a project related to one thing so that I can see them all easily. 
That's it. Those are the five favorite tools that I think uh, are around for um, Kanban. If you really want to look at more, then by all means, check them out. Uh, I think probably the best one to start for most people is uh, probably Trello. It's probably the easiest one for most people to start out with and get to know how Kanban can work. And then you can look at other tools like Obsidian, and then you have to add the Kanban plugin or add uh, ClickUp, which is good for Teams. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. And honestly, turn off the notifications because you want to go do other stuff like get some work done, hang out with your kids, read a book. If you want to support the channel, curtismichael.ca slash membership. You can get all my courses included and my research notes on the weekends or curtismichael.ca slash education if you just want to take a course. If you're on part of Skillshare, you can see the links to all my Skillshare courses below. Have an excellent day.